Welcome to another video of our MDCN series. My name is Dr. Mariam, and today we will be going through the MDCN style for breast examination. But before we begin, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe as it will really help out the channel. So for breast examination, we will carry out our normal routine, we'll greet our patient and do the rest of our wipe out. So good morning. Good morning. I want to examine your breast today. Is that okay? Can I please go ahead? Go ahead. Thank you. Do you need someone to be with us? No. So for breast examination, it's extra important that you request for the presence of a chaperone. So we'll expose our patient and we only need the chest to be exposed. We'll position our patient and as you can see, our patient is sitting. Because for breast examination, inspection begins with the patient sitting and then for our patient, they will need to lie down. Breast examination begins with inspection. Sir, can you please put your hands by your side? Yes, and sit straight. So inspection begins while looking at the patient's breast with the hands by the side. So we look for any asymmetry between the two breasts, any visible lumps, swelling, any skin changes like orange peel appearance, any alterations, any skin retractions, nipple retractions or dimplings, and in the presence of any nipple discharge. After doing that, we we'll kindly ask the patient to raise their hands above their head. So can you please do this? When they do that, you look underneath the breasts for any skin changes, as well as in the axilla for any swelling or lumps. After that, you ask the patient to put their hands by their waistline and then push your shoulders back. When you do that, you're trying to exaggerate any dimplings or retractions that might be present. And you look. And finally, you look along the patient's arms to look for any evidence of lymphedema. Thank you. You can push your hands. That ends our inspection. The next step is palpation. So, can you please lie down? To begin our palpation, we need to start with the breast that is normal. So we need to know which breast is abnormal. Sir, can you please show me where, which breast you felt the lump? Okay. So since this is the abnormal breast, we're going to start with the normal breast. So for palpation, there are six areas we need to be seen covering, which includes the four quadrants of the breast, the nipple area, and the axillary tail of the breast. So to look for the four quadrants, we simply divide the breast through one vertical line and one horizontal line. So this will give us the upper quadrant and the lower quadrant. The upper quadrant, we have the upper inner, the upper outer. The lower quadrant, we have the lower inner and the lower outer. The same for the other breast. Then we have the nipple area and the axillary tail of the breast. So to begin our operation, we need to be seen covering these six areas. So we can start with our upper outer, lower outer, lower inner, upper inner, nipple area, and the axillary tail of the breast. And then we move on to the abnormal breast. We do the same. So this is the upper inner, lower inner, lower outer, upper outer, nipple area, and the axillary tail of the breast. It is important to know that if you feel a lump, you need to determine the site, the size, the consistency, so is it soft, is it hard, the mobility, is it mobile or not, and the skin tethering. So to determine the skin tethering, we simply pinch over the area of the lump to see if it's attached to the skin. If it is attached, that is an indication of a malignancy. And then lastly, we need to ask the patient to express their nipples to see if there's any nipple discharge. The next step is to examine for the lymph nodes. Uh, for breast examination, we do the axillary lymph nodes, infraclavicular and the supraclavicular lymph nodes. So for the lymph nodes, again, we start with the normal side. So can I please have your hand? Thank you. So we go central, we dig in for apical, we go anterior axillary fold for anterior, posterior axillary fold for posterior, and we switch for lateral. We do the same on the other breast. We hold left with left. We go central, dig in for apical, anterior axillary fold for anterior, posterior axillary fold for posterior, and we switch for lateral. Then we check for the infraclavicular lymph group of lymph nodes below the clavicle and the supraclavicular nodes. This concludes the main part of the exam. The next step is to check for areas of metastasis. So breast cancer has specific areas that it likes to metastasize to, including the bone, the lungs, the liver, and the brain. So we ask the patient to sit up. When the patient sits up, we first of all need to ask the patient if they have any back pain. Do you have any pain in your back? No. Okay. So if they don't, we palpate the spine to check for any areas of tenderness, swelling, or deformity. 
After that, we auscultate for the basis of the lungs. Sir, can you please breathe in and out? Breathe in and out. Thank you. If I lie back down. After that, the next step is to check for any hepatomegaly. Sir, can you please breathe in and out? And then lastly, to conclude the examination, we ask the patient to stand up and walk. This is to check for any weakness or abnormalities in gait, as breast cancer tends to metastasize to the brain as well. This brings us to the end of our examination. But before we close, I just want to point out a few rapid-fire facts about the breast. The most common breast lump in patients less than 35 years of age is a fibroadenoma. The most common form of breast cancer is invasive ductal carcinoma. The most common cause of a bloody nipple discharge is intraductal papilloma. A cause of greenish yellow nipple discharge is mammary duct ectasia. If you find a mobile lump in a breast, it's most likely to be fibroadenoma as it's the one that's most mobile and often known as a breast mouse. To close out our video, let's discuss the differences between the types of breast surgeries done. So the first is a breast conserving surgery and it's usually done for very small masses and often accompanied with external beam radiation. In breast conserving surgery, we just remove the small lump along with the skin but we leave the rest of the breast intact. Next is a simple mastectomy where we remove the affected breast with the skin. The next type of breast surgery is a modified radical mastectomy. In a modified radical mastectomy, we remove the affected breast, the skin, as well as the lymph nodes. And lastly, a radical breast mastectomy. In a radical breast mastectomy, we remove the affected breast, the skin, the affected lymph nodes, as well as the pectoralis muscle. This brings us to the end of our video. If you liked anything or learned anything, please drop a like. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Like the video. Most importantly, subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.